Welcome, this is the AP Physics Workbook Solution. Here I'm covering 1.N. This is for projectile motion, um, part two. Here's the scenario. You're on a cliff. A rock is thrown horizontally with a speed V from the top of a cliff of height H, as shown in the diagram on the right. Sketch the following graph of the motion of the rock on the axis provided below to the right. And here, um, I put it all down here. All right. So um, when you see something like this, um, it's best to think about it first um, in terms of um, the first part here is just acceleration. OK, so the acceleration occurs from this is zero. And this is some um, time in seconds. Okay, this is height. All right. So what is the acceleration here? Okay, the acceleration here is negative ten meters per second squared. All right. What this is what the acceleration is. What is the acceleration here? The acceleration is still negative 10 meters per second squared. All right. So the acceleration here is always going to be what? As time goes on, it's always going to be this value of negative 10 meters per second. Again, why? Because remember, I note Anything going up and to the right is positive. So that's why the acceleration here is negative 10 meters per second. OK, this is its vertical part. OK, the acceleration is always going down. OK, there's always an acceleration going down. All right. But what about the horizontal acceleration? OK, this is horizontal acceleration. Is it accelerating to the right? The answer is no. OK, there is no horizontal acceleration. OK, why? Because there's no engine, there's no thrust of any sort. What about the um, vertical velocities now? OK, to do that, I would like to bring up a diagram that you might have seen in your books, All right? So you might see something like this, OK? So give me a second to clear up the screen for you, all right? Now, let's look at the velocities. So right here, when it's being um, a projectile motion is being launched initial right here with an initial velocity of v naught 0. OK, the dashed black line represents the path of the object is being taken. All right. OK, so what's happening here at the vertical part? So we're only looking at the vertical part, right? It seems here the velocity at this point is V, e, v is equal to what? Zero. There was no initial velocity. So we had to start here. What is the velocity at this point? Well, it's we know it's a um, um, value that is negative, right? And then we know uh, like it can be negative one. Here it would be negative two, negative three, right? Negative four. Okay, so it should go, be going down something like this. Starts from zero and goes down. And again, this is a linear slope. OK. What about the horizontal velocity? What can we say about the horizontal velocity? So notice that the acceleration here is 0. What is the So what should be the velocity here? A lot of you might think it is a linear slope. It's not. OK, the linear velocity here is a positive is a positive value that's like this. 
now you're wondering why. So remember, there was a initial velocity of v x zero, okay, and the velocity is going to be constant, right, in the horizontal direction. Because why? Because a was equal to zero in the x direction. There's no horizontal acceleration. If there is no horizontal acceleration, how can the velocity horizontally change? There's nothing affecting it. All right. Lastly, um, let's take a look at the displacement motions right the distance and we could already see and this is a um, this is a result um, of the uh, x and y velocities and you can see the trajectories right there it curves right so should it start from zero zero no remember it starts here at an initial height right this is its initial height right wherever you did wherever you started it doesn't really give us a value so we can start it here and does it just come straight down? Yes, it does come just straight down. Remember, if it starts here, you better not go up. Because remember, it just go horizontally down. So it starts dropping automatically. So it should drop like this. It should curve. Right? It should curve. I try to draw it as best as I can as a curve. Okay? There you go. All right? Uh, it stops. All right? There shouldn't be no arrows here. Good. What about its horizontal displacement? Just think about how the horizontal displacement would look like. Okay. This is its horizontal displacement, right? Okay. So it starts here at what? Does it start here at zero zero? Yes, it does start here at zero zero. Where is its next? Well, it's some distance this way, right? So it goes. Is it going up? Yes, it does because look. Okay, this is a positive, so it goes up like this. Okay, does it curve? Well, this is how it would look like at one second. This is how it looks like at two seconds, right? Because again, the velocity is constant. So you can draw something like this if you would like. Uh, please understand I try to do this, but it's supposed to be linear. Okay. There you go. That's what happens when you do a projectile motion, okay, off a height. All right. Now, okay. Now, this time, a second rock is thrown, but now with a theta above the horizontal. So, before, before, oops. Before, the object was here, and it just went down like this, right? But this time, it goes up with a theta value, then it comes down, right? So this theta value, right, assuming the theta is between 0 and 90 degrees, or for those people who are into radians, um, I think it's pi, pi and a half, right? Zero, pi, zero, pi and a half, pi, three pi over two, two of pi, yeah. So it assumes like this is a theta value between these values. What happens here? All right, so the acceleration is exactly the same, okay? So the acceleration, right, the acceleration for both rocks, are the same okay a vertical uh, which is a y is the same right because a y is just G which is equal to negative 9.8 or 10 whatever you want to do it here um, again uh, a X is, is going to be again zero because again there's no horizontal dis um, there's no thrust no engine doing it okay and this is was how the original one looked like, okay? But what about the velocity here? What's happening here? Well, it seems like it's a little bit higher. So 
we put the object a little bit higher. But again, the y intercept is different here, but the slope is the same. Why? Because it says it same speed v, right? Okay. What about the horizontal velocity? This was the initial one, right? And the horizontal velocity is a little bit smaller, okay? What about the displacement? Well, we know the original one looks like this, right? Something like that. It curves. This time, do you see how it goes hump? It, it it bumps it a little bit further, right? This is due to the theta, right? Then it comes down, okay? So it should look something like that, right? That's how it looks like better, okay? What about this time? Well, originally, we look, um, uh, it looks like this, okay? But its new um, horizontal displacement is a little bit lower, Okay, so give me a minute and I'm going to clean this up for you, okay? All right, some of you are going to be asked, why is this true? Okay, all right. Here, the reason why the second rock, right, vertical displacement is higher, okay, is because it um, goes upward, right? Do you see how the rock here goes upwards? Okay, this is why it's higher. But why, this is the second rock. But why is the horizontal one um, lower? Okay, because it has to go up, right? Because it has to go up it has to come down at a smaller spot, okay? This one is smaller and it goes here. This is given the same velocity, okay? If you think about this in terms of just energy, right? Let's say the energy of this object is the same, right? The energy is the same, okay? If you haven't covered energy yet, this might not make sense, but if you think about it in just terms of kinetic energy, think about it. The kinetic energy has to be the same, correct? Because it has to be, um, it has to be um, conservative. But think about it. The object's distance here has to be the same. So if the object here goes higher, right? the horizontal distance has to be smaller, right? As you decrease the height, it can go further away because again, energy is the same. It's the way you're distributing the energy. That is the reason why the horizontal distance is smaller, all right? Likewise, let me give you a scenario. What happens if he draws it really higher, right? It's gonna come in smaller. Okay, the higher he throws it, the closer it is going, to, um, the more vertical distance it has, the smaller the horizontal distance is going to be. So let's say the third one could be something like this, right? This is the third one, okay? So it's gonna be like this, third. Likewise, let's say this is like the fourth one, right? It would be because you see how it has a smaller vertical velocity, so it's going to have a higher horizontal velocity. Um, sorry, horizontal displacement. Okay. This is given that they they threw it at the same velocities. Okay. All right. Now, um, we already have this. The horizontal distance between the bottom cliff and the place where the rock lands is what? It's larger. Okay. All right, so what is the physical quality? So again, here it says, if the second rock was instantaneously horizontal, uh, is thrown horizontally with an initial speed of two velocity, 
Would the horizontal distance D between the bottom of the cliff and the place where the rock lands be larger, smaller, or this um, as the first rock? Please understand it is larger. Why? Because again, um, here, the initial velocity, boom, is 2V, right? More velocity equals more kinetic energy, right? One half mv squared. Okay. Oh wow, the, that actually quadruples it. Double this will quadruple this, so it's actually much larger if you really think about it. Okay. All right. So the what physical quality um, that we measure? We looked at the height of the object. We also looked at its initial uh, vertical velocity, and what also affects it is the vertical acceleration. Again. There is no, so I could write, write it here, there is no, there is no uh, horizontal acceleration, all right? There is no uh, vertical uh, horizontal velocity, okay? All right? It just, de um, it's just constant, okay? So, for both project, um, for both rocks, um, is that the same? So that the time to fall is also the same. Okay. So the time that the object gets thrown is um, the time that the object reaches the floor is going to be the same. Okay. Since both rocks are the same in, since both rocks are in the air for the same what time. Oh, the rock that goes farther away would be rock B. Okay, because it goes down further. Okay. Why does this go down further? Because again, here it's throwing. Because again, this question is referred to this scenario. Okay. Why? Why does it go horizontally? Uh, the rock that goes horizontally faster, it has a higher velocity is this one, right? Rock B goes further distance. Why does rock B go a further distance? Because, okay, the velocity is 2V. More velocity, more kinetic energy, right, which is equal to, uh, more uh, displacement, technically, right? More energy, uh, more kinetic energy that can be transferred into moving the object, right? More kinetic energy, more work can be done to that object, okay? So please understand this is referred to this question with when it has doubled the velocity, okay? All right, so um, something that I want to bring up here is uh, based in the book. And I wanted to um, bring it up because some of you are wondering about this statement, okay? Um, if some of you are looking at your books, this is what I am referring to about this question, okay? Is this statement. All right. So here, this is an object that is just throwing straight down, okay? And an object that is thrown horizontally. And read the caption here. Multiple exposure photograph shows the positioning of two balls at equal time intervals. So these are the same equal times. Okay. One ball was dropped from rest, which is the red. At the same time, the other ball was projectedly horizontally outwards, which is the yellow. The vertical position of each ball seems to be the same at each instance. Why? Because it's all getting um, pulled vertically by the same acceleration that is vertically which is the negative 9.8 meters per second okay this is the same reason why the object will hit the ground at the same time all right so there you go i that should be covering the entire video